Moving to the Boston suburbs and getting to know Peabody, the suburb located on the North Shore of Boston. In this video, we're going to talk about all the different areas that make up Peabody and what this great town has to offer, from restaurants to schools to green space. It's all here. We're also going to be talking with Jack and Jean, who are longtime residents, for a resident's viewpoint, if you will, for what makes this community such a great place to call home. Now, Peabody is a town of a little under 55,000 residents, and according to the last census. Now, Peabody has come a long way from its start as a farming community. Today, it is a vibrant community, which consists of the region's largest shopping mall and industrial park that has attracted numerous medical and technology companies. Now, residents of Peabody, they're gonna be quick to point out that Peabody is really divided between West Peabody, South Peabody, and Downtown Peabody. Now, Downtown Peabody is, well, it's kind of obvious. It's their downtown, and it's actually located within close proximity to the town of Salem. Now, West Peabody has mostly become known as a middle to upper class suburb, and it's actually here that you're gonna find Brooksby Farm, which is a 275 acre working farm and conservation area that has really become a very popular destination and you're also going to find a bunch of other rec great recreational areas here as well. Hey, it's Jeff Chubb. Welcome to the channel. To learn more about real estate, then don't forget to click that link and subscribe button below. And if you want to talk about your real estate goals, then find my information in that description below as well. So Peabody Center is about two miles from the center of Salem, 15 miles northeast of Boston, and 18 miles west-southwest of Gloucester. Peabody is bordered by Middleton to the northwest, Danvers to the north, Salem to the east, Lynn to the south, and Linfield to the southwest. <laughs> Boy, that was a mouthful. Now, let's see what Jack and Jean have to say about why they chose Peabody some 42 years ago. We, um, we were living in Marblehead when we first got married and both working in Boston. And uh, the commute out of Marblehead was ridiculous. Um, so we started to look on the North Shore. We definitely wanted to stay on the North Shore. We found this house and uh, the combination of the school right down the street. And it was, at that time, it was called the Desirable School. <laughs> um, the uh, backyard that we have, which uh, we ha basically had all the kids in the neighborhood in because it's flat and a great location. And then for our commute, it was so easy. We just went down, hopped on 128 and got into Boston. And uh, it just worked into our life at that point. And um, we just didn't see a need to move on. We've really watched West Peabody grow and enjoyed it. Yeah, I think the other thing that um, as you live here a little bit, um, it's got a very reasonable property tax, which mm -hmm. does make a difference. And the surrounding communities that are beautiful um, make this very desirable from a property tax level. Right. That's their reasoning for them choosing Peabody. But here are some other things to consider. According to AreaVibes.com, Peabody earned the rating of an A for crime. The crime in the town is 57% below the national average, with violent crime being 45% below the, and property crime being 59% below the national average. It is considered a safe place to live. One of the many draws to the suburbs are, well, the schools. PVD has eight elementary schools, one middle school, and one high school. And that middle school, by the way, was recently redone, is now a state-of-the-art facility serving the students of the town. Now, the Peabody school system serves nearly 6,000 students with 439 teachers and a teacher to student ratio of 13.1. And according to Boston Magazine, the Peabody Veterans Memorial High School is ranked number 111 in the state with a 15.4 student to teacher ratio. The school saw 84.4% graduation rate with 71.1% of graduating students attending college. Also to note is that Peabody has three private schools, the Bishop Fenwick High School, the Covenant Christian Academy, and the St. John Baptist School. But let's talk with Jack and Jean about their experience utilizing the Peabody public school system for their two kids. Well, from a grammar school perspective, ideally located, uh, the kids walked to school. They had all their friends in the community right around us. It became a little bit of a shock when they went to the middle school because now all of Peabody went to only one school, but they, they broke that school up into, what did they call them? Like the dolphins and the penguins, and so into little, little schools within the school. So it was manageable. Now they have a brand new, fully, fully newly built middle school that's beautiful. Sorry. And then the high school um, was an amazing experience, but schools are schools. It's how the parents get involved in the schools that make the difference. And we just were parents that always did that. And most of our friends were those people that did that. 
very happy with what PBD High School did and the middle school and everything for our kids. And I think it's more what they did for themselves as well, but it afforded them the opportunity to go on to further education. Uh, our son um, got an appointment to the Air Force Academy. Our daughter went on to Northeastern, both of whom had fabulous experiences in high school, were in leadership positions, and um, had counselors and teachers that were extremely involved in their learning and in their lives. So we have nothing but good things to say. There's also the, um, for people with middle school and high school um, kids, there are, there are public schools in town, but there are two very solid private schools, St. John's Prep and Bishop Fenwick. So if a, if a family wants to send their children there, there's options in uh, both cases. There's also the Catholic school um, for grammar school, St. John's down in downtown Peabody. That uh, is a great alternative. When it comes to leisure and green space, Peabody's got you covered. While it's a green space, golfing has really never been a leisurable activity for me. Getting that ball to go straight continues to be my issue, quite frankly. But there are two golf courses in Peabody for those that have actually found their peace with the game. The Meadow Golf Course is an 18-hole public course that is owned and operated by the town of Peabody. The course is situated on 259 beautiful rolling acres um, with rolling terrain and various elevation changes. This course has many golf leagues, including a men's senior league and a women's league. Golfing can get expensive, and one of the best parts of the Meadow Golf Course is that it is on the less expensive side when it comes to actually playing 18 holes. Now on the opposite side of that is the Salem Country Club, which is a private club that dates back to 1895 when some wealthy citizens decided to get together and said, hey, we need a golf course. They actually hired esteemed Donald Ross to design the course, and it's now considered one of his greatest creations. It's said that the greens, but more specifically the green sites, are considered near perfection. Each hole is thoughtfully designed and cleverly routed, with not a single hole being considered weak. And PBD has you covered when it comes to other areas for a little rest and relaxation as well. There's a Winona Pond Conservation, Crystal Lake Conservation, as well as the Russell Conservation areas. And if you're looking for a little more than just walking a picturesque park, then you can find playing fields at uh, Lieutenant Ross Park, Kennedy Fields, Radden Park, as well as Symphony Park. There's a lot of green space in Peabody to choose from. Now, I also briefly, men uh, briefly mentioned Brooksby Farm earlier, which is a little crown jewel of Peabody. It's a 275-acre working farm and conservation area where visitors can pick apples, strawberries, as well as raspberries. They all are also able to visit the petting zoo, which is really cool, and hike the many trails on the property. It's a pretty awesome spot. Those are just some of the things that I personally love about PPD, but let's hear from the people that are really in the know about this town and what they love about this town that they've really called home for all these years. I, I love the community spirit that is very much a part of, of PPD. Um, we both have gotten very involved uh, through um, the community and we always were involved in the school so we made good friends we we love that um, it's very uh, affordable accessible it there's improvements being made that I didn't even th think needed to be made but they're they're just looking great, like Crystal Lake right down the road from here. Um, they put in a bike path that already has been written up on the North Shore magazine. Um, so we're just very happy with the community. The PBD Town Center is a quintessential New England town. Brick facades that just scream charm. Here you're going to find larger chains like Walgreens to smaller mom and pop shops like a shoe repair and even a little model train stop shop. There are numerous banks and restaurants, which include Mexican to sushi to small coffee shops. There are many amazing restaurants in PB, but a couple to note include large chains like the Cheesecake Factory, Legal Seafood, and Tony C's Bar and Grill. But they also have some other notable smaller restaurants like Century House Restaurant, or Marco's Restaurant, and Stanzi's uh, Country Ranch, and the Sylvan Street Grill. There are a lot of other great food options in Peabody as well. Let's just say that you're not going to go hungry anytime soon living there. There are a couple of other areas of large commercial centers in Peabody. The first and foremost to be discussed, quite frankly, is the North Shore Mall. Now, this mall is near the Route 128 and 114 junction and spans nearly 1.7 million square feet. The mall offers guests 130 specialty stores, and this mall not only serves the residents of Peabody, but also the greater Boston North Shore area. Now, PVD also has some cultural additions that really contribute to the greatness of the town as well. The George PVD House Museum is dedicated to the life and deeds of the town's namesake, 
George Peabody. This museum also shares its walls with the leather, uh, the Peabody Leather Museum. Now, the Peabody Historical Society and Museum is a center for the preservation, study, and enjoyment of Peabody's cultural heritage. The Society's collections are of local and national significance and document over 300 years of the region's history. The Society maintains eight historic properties, an extensive library and archives, and a large collection of china, textiles, furniture, and fine and decorative arts. If it's close proximity to hit highways that you're looking for, then Peabody, that might just be the perfect place for you. Peabody has 95, Route 1, as well as Route 128 access that runs through the town. There are several MBTA bus services that go through the town with the closest MBTA commuter rail stop in Salem. Now that Newburyport Rockport line is going to take commuters directly into Boston. Now Peabody is one of the most affordable towns on the North Shore when you compare it to other neighboring towns. The average price for a condo traded for $381,000, while the average sales price for a single family was $629,000. There were 400 single family homes sold compared to the 110 condos in this time period. This really gives you a great idea on the type of housing stock that's available to people considering Peabody. And the sense of community can be a paramount reason for someone choosing one town over another. And after 42 years, Gene and Jack have some really great insights on a couple of things that make their town such a strong community. About 20 years ago, when our kids were still at the grammar school, um, we hitched on to the Pride and Peabody uh, campaign, where all over Peabody people would spend a Saturday and clean up. And uh, Jack and I initiated at the grammar school down the street, and it took off and it's been doing it ever since. So from that perspective, we've done Pride and Peabody um, a lot. Uh, clean up. I also got involved in um, restoring the Peabody, the lakes in Peabody, and uh, I mentioned Crystal Lake, and that is the success story as far as I'm concerned. They they dredged it and they put fish in it, and it and it's right by the bike path, and it's beautiful, and it's a go-to place. And um, you know, from that that perspective, it's a great great place for people to walk the community. And then there's a very supportive soup kitchen pantry that both of us are very involved in. And uh, it's in right down, downtown and serves Peabody, Linfield, and Salem community. And so it's another way to have some involvement volunteering. There are a couple of very notable employers in Peabody. And a larger corporation which makes ultrasound equipment employs 800 people in the town. Other large employers in Peabody is UTC Aerospace Systems, which is one of the world's largest suppliers of aerospace and defense products, Boston Children's Hospital, as well as Leahy Hospital and Medical Center. And we could talk about all the greatness of Peabody until, quite frankly, you're blue in the face. But sometimes we can actually learn more about the negative. So let's turn to Jack and Gene and ask them about one thing that they would change about their town. But I think the one thing that comes to mind is um, even though there's been a lot of improvement uh, with the North Shore Mall and some of the other industry in the area, the downtown section of Peabody has a great history. It's very diverse. It's got a really um, the um, leather tanning business, but it's older and it if it could improve the facade, if they could move that along a little faster and make it look a little bit more modernized that way, I think that would be the only thing that um, that would really make a difference to me. If you're thinking about making a move and know that you want to be on the North Shore, then you should first put PBD on the list of towns to check out. And second, you should reach out to me so I can learn more about what you're looking for and what's important to you. You're going to notice that there's one thing that we're not sure of in the Boston metro market, and that's towns. We've got a lot of towns that surround Boston, and all of these towns, they can get, lead to a lot of confusion. And if you're not from around here, they're going to lead to a lot more confusion. Heck, if you are from around here, they're still going to lead to confusion. So if you're looking to learn more about the communities that surround Boston, then these two videos on the screen now, it could be a great place to start.